Welcome everyone to another episode of the Hector Mike Experience, Common Sense in an Uncommon World. And we start off today with some with some na- sad news. Um, oh, no. the, yeah, the well, the weather predicting Meltown Mel's just died right before Groundhog Day. And this is the groundhog that uh, comes out every year and was, tells us whether or not it, we're gonna we should expect an early spring or a you know six more weeks of winter. And so he. Uh, he passed away, so well wishes over to him. But uh, there's, they're looking like they're going to cancel Groundhog Day because he passed away. Somebody put a hit out on the guy, or what? I don't know. It just... some, some somebody wanted winter to end, and they put a hit on the poor groundhog. Oh or, man! Or may, maybe it might be all the 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 poison they put in the ground to kill to kill groundhogs. That's a shame. I mean, do yeah. they have a backup groundhog? Well, at least according to Fox uh, Five in New York, they don't. It looks like they're going to oh, no. celebrate. They're going to cancel the uh, the Groundhog Day uh, celebration or festivities that they had set up for tomorrow. And so it is. Is uh, Mel? May you rest in peace. That's right. Mel, Mel's in a better place. Yeah. He's on the he's on the spit someplace. He's <laughs> he's going to be served up in a restaurant somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> Tastes like chicken. <laughs> You got some problems, Mike. <laughs> well, you know, I mean, you know, something that, that uh, since we're on the topic of groundhog, what is up with the governor of California and one, you know, once again getting caught without wearing a face mask? I mean, it's like, first of all, you've got, you know, they talk about the mandates, right? You've got kids that are having to go to school six, seven, eight hours a day yeah. having to wear a face mask. Yeah. You've got the governor out there who's like, who, and, and of all people, it's Magic Johnson who outs him out. You know, Magic Johnson posts a picture of him and the governor on Instagram, and we're like, whoa, look at the governor without a face mask. Right. Gavin then goes out there and tries to defend himself. He's like, no, no, no. Out of respect to, for Magic Johnson, I took off my face mask and, you know, and, and took this picture. But I was, and I think the words he uses, I was very judicious, very judicious in in wearing a face mask, very judicious. The only time I took it off was when I was eating or when I was drinking something. And then all of a sudden you got all these like other photographs that come up of him hanging out in this in the sky box with like 30, 40 other people and no one's wearing a mask, including the governor. Mm-hmm. You know, he's, he's out walking around and he's not wearing a mask. You know, there are some pictures and you know, there are some pictures where he is wearing the mask, but in all these other pictures, there didn't seem to be any popcorn nearby or any drinks nearby, and he was just just chilling out. Well, it's funny too because it was not just him, but London Breed, the mayor of San Francisco, and Eric Garcetti, the I don't know, is he the Ma- former mayor yet, or the soon-to-be former mayor, had he, as ambassador to India, and and none of them were wearing any masks. Um, you know, maybe they did you know COVID tests or something, or maybe they were all eating popcorn. Who knows? Um, Invisible but popcorn. That invis- would be invisible well, popcorn. That's you know, it's it's uh, it's possible because <laughs> the other part that just cracks me up is like I, I don't know. Uh, it, it was interesting because first of all, unlike before, he decided to respond to it. Like when he was in the French Laundry, he's like, eh, "I ain't going to respond to this," and then it became an issue, and then he dealt with it. This time, he immediately dealt with that picture that he had with Magic, um, and and I don't know who it was that said to him. You know, well, you would just say, you know, you took it out of out of respect or deference to Magic Johnson, and you know, and and end it there, um, not thinking that well, you know, you were there at the at the football game for probably about three and a half hours, and there's probably a whole bunch of other pictures of you without a mask, and so now you have to answer for those things, and you know, I mean, I don't know why it's deference to Magic Johnson to not wear a mask. Who knows? Um, but you know, it's the same old same. It, it is Groundhog Day in California, in many many ways. It's the same kind of arrogance that you know had people not go, being able to go to funerals, people not being able to go to church, people not being able to go out and eat, and businesses closed. You know, when he went to the French Laundry and had his little 